Hush, babe. Hush. Hush. Hush, babe. Hush. Hush. Hush, babe. Hush, babe. Hush, babe. Hush. Cause he pulling us off for no for reason. No hush. Reason. You won't even hush, baby. Before he shoots you, you know how these baby hush. My hands behind my back. You know how these folks is. No, I'm not. You don't lose your job. You wanna know why? Why? You think you know the law, but you don't. Turn around Dude, before you get taken. Baby, turn around. Don't even clap with these folks. Just turn around. He's not even telling me what he's doing. Fuck them. Just turn around. Like, what you mean? I ain't threatening nothing. You're not. Don't move. What? Turn around, baby. Cause I'm getting pissed off. What Give me you, your what phone. What though? Like you Baby, turn around before he shoot. Do not shoot him. Do not shoot him. Let him go. 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 Where your phone at, baby? I wouldn't even fight you, bro. Let him go. I wouldn't even fight you. What you gonna do? What is you pulling us over for? What is you pulling us over for? Can somebody help us? Can you please help us? Somebody help us. Bro, I can't believe it. Have you doing the jail, bro? Can somebody help us? Can somebody help us? The guy had his hands behind his back, right? So, what the fuck is the pro? You're cuffing, you got handcuffs in one hand and you got the taser in the other. Holster your fucking taser, grab his arms and put him in cuffs. Why, why are you guys are so fucking scared to use your hands? You had the advantage. His hands was behind his back. The fuck is wrong with y'all? You, you guys are just fucking pussies, bro. I don't even, I can't even believe I, he did that. The guy had his hands behind his back. He's on it. Grab him. Put, pull, push him down on the hood of that car or the trunk. Cuff him. You know how hard it is to cuff somebody with one hand? And then you're trying to have the taser? Just straight pussy-ass policing you guys are doing now. You know, I got to agree with you on this one. Um, That the way he was holding that taser, like it was his lifeline. Like he was scared to just go ahead and, you know, I could see pulling the taser out of someone's actively trying to fight you. And they're just doing that. Because by the time you pull it out, you have the intention of using it. He is like holding on, to, holding on to it as a safety net. As if if he doesn't have that, he's about to get mollywhopped. You know, he's 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 using it like that. When yeah, once you had to yeah, put that um, taser away and put your body weight against him and go ahead, get a wrist lock and get because they stop, stop or I'm putting another cuff on and you know what I mean, and do it that way. Uh, but he uh, yeah, it was crazy. And then he had the taser in his hand the whole time. You know what the guy was on the ground? Saying, Are you gonna put the cuffs on me, man? Like let's get it. He was done after he got taken. He was like, hey man, put these cuffs on. Let's finish this up. Like and he pointed the taser. Hurt just like he's using that as uh, if I don't have this, I'm about to get my ass kicked. You know, that's the way he's utilizing that taser. How many good cops you ever see stop a bad cop from being a bad cop? We have a problem that needs to be addressed. And until we start having these conversations, right, until the, the, the rest of the world start having these conversations, we're always going to have this problem when it comes down to policing.